This is my classic Yamaha 23 alto saxophone that I got off eBay super cheap. You might see my video where I was testing it. It's an awesome blowing saxophone, but I wanted to spruce it up a bit. So this week, I decided to take it and turn it into something a little bit more exciting. What do you think about this? I always wanted to have a zebra striped saxophone. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how I <laughs> turned my saxophone into this. You might also be asking why I bothered to do it. Um, also, I'm gonna give it a play test and see how it performs now that it's looking a bit snazzier. Hey, of course, if you're new here and you enjoy watching videos about saxophone, learning saxophone and saxophone gear, then don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because I'm making new videos all the time. Don't want you to miss out. Right, let's get stuck in. G'day, it's Nigel here from Sax School. Hey, thanks for joining me for another one of these videos. Now, I have to confess, no one at Sax School asked me if I could customize a saxophone. You know, lots of students there, no one's asking this question. It's really just me being a bit crazy. And let's face it, we're basically back in lockdown here in the UK, so I wanna do something fun. And what better time than to pull your saxophone apart and see if you can do this. Now, I wouldn't suggest that anyone out there watching, any of you guys, have a go at this unless you really know what you're doing with repairing a saxophone and putting it back together, because it, it is a little bit more complicated than just taking the keys off and putting them back on again. But it all seemed to work out okay, and in a second I'm gonna give it a blow and let you know what it sounds like. But the process for this really started with me having to strip the saxophone down entirely. So, I got my trusty screwdriver out and I stripped all the keys off the saxophone. Didn't take too long actually, but it does leave you with a lot of pieces. You've gotta remember where they go back. Okay, so moment of truth. Well, I'm gonna have a go at putting some white paint onto this 23, and I'm gonna start with the neck, actually. I don't even know what it's gonna look like, but it's gonna be white, so let's see what happens. Now, I've masked off the end of the cork here, and also the tenon, just to make it easier for assembling. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, here's what the body looks like without all the keys pretty weird and surprisingly light. I've taped up all of the springs just to keep them nice and clean. I figure that'll help with the way that they work when we assemble it. Let's see how the paint goes on. Okay, so here we are after some paints. Now, as it turned out, I did have to use quite a few coats of paint, but it looks beautiful. I mean, have a look at the color that's come through on here. I think it looks really, really nice. Now, I've still got some masking around the cork and the tenon here, because I've still got to do one more exciting thing with the paint job. This is a low-tech customization job, and it's just a bit of fun. So I've actually used some really low-tech products. I've got some basic metal primer that you'd use if you were painting your car, and I've also got some Nissan white pearlescent spray paint off a Nissan car, I suppose, but I think the color's really cool. Pretty inexpensive, but actually it covered quite well. And to prepare the body, all I did was give it a wipe down with some alcohol, uh, not drinking alcohol, but like rubbing alcohol, and a wipe down with a lint-free cloth, masked up the springs, and away we go. So the next step in the process is getting the zebra stripes on the saxophone, because you can't have a zebra stripe saxophone without zebra stripes. Now I'm no artist and I'm certainly not that good with a brush, but I gave it a go with some basic black gloss paint. And actually I think it turned out all right. I got better the longer that I was doing it as it turned out. Well, it took me a few hours, but there we are with all the zebra stripes painted on my eBay special YES23 Alto. I think it looks pretty cool actually. But I did work out something very important, and that is that painting zebra stripes on an alto saxophone, it's actually pretty difficult. But I think it turned out all right. What do you think? Now, getting all the keys back on your saxophone isn't a really straightforward process. I mean, I'm not an expert repairer. That's why I've got guys like Steve Crow helping me out. But today, I did it all by myself, and actually, a bit of fiddling about and trying to work out the order and stuff, but it did all go back on, and then some tweaking and uh, adjusting just to make sure everything was sealing again, because even though it was sealing before I took the keys off. When you put them back on, things do move and adjust. So I did have to do some fiddling with it to get it to play. But let's have a listen to hear what it sounds like. Yeah. 
about that? Let me know in a comment if you like the sound of the saxophone. Now, I thought this saxophone sounded pretty good before. In the comparison between this and my 62, yeah, there's a little noticeable difference, but it played really well. Since I've put it all back together, yeah, there's a couple of little things that I'm gonna need to tinker with just to make sure that it's sealing properly. Um, I've noticed it in the octave mechanism here. A little bit more adjustment needed, but it's playing great anyway. And actually, strangely enough, I don't think the paint made a big difference to the way that it performs, to me at least, the way that I can hear it when I'm playing it, because that's always very different to the way that it sounds to you. It still seems to resonate really well. It still gets the altissimo really well, and it's got loads of body to it. So yeah, I like it. I think this will be part of my saxophone family over there and you might see it in a few more videos yet. So let me know if you thought that was fun. Let me know if you've ever customized your saxophone or would ever consider it. Or maybe let me know if you've got another idea of something else I can do to customize one of my other saxophones. Okay, hey, whatever you're doing, keep practicing. Don't forget if you want to move your skills ahead. I'm not gonna show you how to paint saxophones, but I will show you how to get to be a much better player, to learn how to be very confident with your improvising and to develop a great sound. But also, I can introduce you to a worldwide community of our thousands of other learners inside Sax School who are all using our lessons, having fun, getting help from our tutors, and you know what, enjoying the process of learning saxophone. If you want to check that out, there's a 14-day trial over at mcgillmusic.com right now. I'd love to see you in there and help you make some progress too. All right, hey, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.